welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Belinda Beauties. Today I'm going to be creating two really easy farmhouse DIYs using all Dollar Tree items. So if you want to see how I create these two items, then please keep watching. But before that we get started, I just want to ask if you could please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and also if you'll click that bell icon so that you can be notified every time that I upload a new video. Okay beauties, let's go ahead and get started. For the first easy DIY, I'm going to be using this placemat that says blessed. Now these were new at my Dollar Tree, so they should be hitting your store if they haven't yet. And I'll also be using this 11 by 14 picture frame and two small pieces from this ribbon. And I'll also be using this thick twine that I purchased at Walmart, but Dollar Tree also carries this. I'll also be using my glue gun. I'll also be using a pen, but you can also use a marker. And I'll also use some scissors. Okay, so I'm going to start by removing all the wrapping on the picture frame, and then I'm just going to take the backing off. Then I'm going to set aside the frame with the glass in it. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to trace around the backing of the picture frame and I've placed it on top of the placemat as you see right there. And I'm just going to trace it all around and I more or less just eyeballed it where I think the center of the word bless will be right in the middle of the picture frame. And here I'm just showing the backside of the placemat just so you can see how it's been marked off. And now I'm just going to cut around it. And now that I'm done cutting it, this is how it looks. I'm literally treating this as a picture and just framing it with my picture frame. It's that easy. I came across these placemats and I absolutely fell in love with what it said. So I didn't want to use them as placemats, but I did want to frame it. And this is the idea that I came up with. It's super duper easy. And this is what it looks like now that it's been framed. Okay, now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add a piece of twine to the back side of the picture frame and I'm just going to be hot gluing the ends and then once I do that I'm just going to cut a little piece of that ribbon and just attach it to the back just so that um, it has a little bit more stability. Okay, so that's the end of the first DIY. The second DIY, I'm going to be using two of these LED table lights and they are really cute. They had these at Dollar Tree not too long ago some lace ribbon. I'm also going to be using one roll of this burlap ribbon. And I'm going to be using six AAA batteries, some scissors, and my glue gun. Okay, all I'm going to do is cover the lampshade with this burlap ribbon and I'm going to cut some strips as you see right there and then I'm going to hot glue it onto the lampshade. And here I'm just showing you all the strips that I cut. They're about four inches long. Now I didn't know how many I was going to need, so I cut several, but I ended up using about six of them. The reason the ribbon is folded at the bottom is because I was having a hard time it sticking 
to the lampshade for whatever reason. So I had to make it longer and then fold it underneath. But once it dried, I was able to unfold the ribbon and then I was able to cut it, which I think it worked out better this way versus if I had pre-cut the strips to the length of the lampshade. And the reason is because of the shape of the lampshade, it just was kind of uneven in some areas. So I felt that it was better to do it this way and that way I could just trim it and just have a nicer cleaner line. I also did the same thing to the top and it also gave me a nicer cleaner edge. Next just to give the lampshade a little bit more of a decorative touch I went ahead and I added some lace at the top and at the bottom of the lampshade. And I'll be repeating the same process to the other table lamp. Okay beauties, well both of my DIYs are now complete and I have to tell you that they were so easy to make and I think that they came out really nice and they do have that farmhouse style. When I came across these placemats, I thought they were just absolutely adorable and they screamed out farmhouse. So I ended up getting one because I knew that I wanted to do something with it and that's when I decided that I would just put it in a picture frame and hang it and I thought it would be a great idea to share it with y'all. And those table lamps are absolutely adorable as well. Now let me tell you, they do give off a lot of light and I didn't really like the lampshade it had and that's why I decided just to put some of that burlap ribbon. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up because that really helps my channel. You have yourself a blessed day and I will see you on my next video. So until then, bye bye and God bless.